The United States Senior Defense Official, Defense Attache, Commander Lane. The Australian Defense Attache, Colonel Wright. The New Zealand Defense Attache, Commander Benfield. The United Kingdom Defense Attache, Wing Commander Bryant, and members of the British contingent. We also acknowledge the presence of Colonel Van Will the Deputy Commander Interoperability of the 25th Infantry Division. The Chief of Staff, Land Forces, Lieutenant Colonel Naliva, the Commanding Officer of the 3rd Battalion and Soldiers of the 3rd Battalion, as well as the accompanying senior officers from the RFMF who are here. Officers and soldiers of Bravo Company, 227 Infantry, 3rd Infantry Brigade Combat Team, 25th Infantry Division, and supporting elements. The officers and soldiers of 8-9 RAR, officers and soldiers of the 2nd 1st New Zealand Infantry, 2nd 1st Battalion New Zealand Infantry Regiment, Major Doughty, the command of 161 Battery, and your troops, from the 16th Field Regiment. Ladies and gentlemen, Mbulavinakan, welcome to the opening ceremony of Exercise Cartwheel 2022. We will now request the Padre of the RFMF, Major Tunindao, to say the opening prayer. Raka, let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, the Creator of the universe, Father of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. We are so thankful to you, Heavenly Father, for the life that we have this morning. We thank you for the good sunshine, for the air that we have breathed, and also, Heavenly Father, for these anticipated events and we are so thankful to be here at Black Rock. We thank you Heavenly Father for our brothers and sisters who came all the way from uh, the US, from Australia, New Zealand and also from Britain. We are here Heavenly Father to say thank you for your protections and for your guidance. We commit these events, two weeks of events, to you, Heavenly Father, and we ask for your guidance throughout these weeks of training, these weeks of interaction and cooperation. And we believe, Heavenly Father, that your eyes and your presence will be with us in these two weeks. I pray for the leaders and for the soldiers and I pray Heavenly Father for your support. We give thanks to you and I commit this occasion to you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you Padre. We now invite the United States Senior Defense Official and Defense Attache, Commander Lane, to deliver the opening address. Bula, and good morning. I'm honored to be here today and thrilled to offer our thanks 
to our host, the Republic of Fiji Military Forces, in attendance today, <clears throat> Land Forces Chief of Staff Officer, Lieutenant Colonel Ben Naliva, Commanding Officer, 3rd Battalion, Fiji Infantry Regiment, Lieutenant Colonel Bill Baca, who, by the way, just returned from the U.S. Army War College, um, Lieutenant Colonel uh, Bereva Sanga, the Chief of Staff from Joint Task Force Command. Uh, I would further like to welcome uh, U.S. 25th Infantry Division Deputy Commander for Interoperability, Colonel Michael Van Whaley, my dear friends from the DA Corps in Fiji, Australian Defense Advisor to Fiji, Colonel Kane Wright, New Zealand Defense Advisor to Fiji, Commander Sarah Bamfield, UK Defense Advisor to Fiji, Wing Commander Andy Bryant, and all the soldiers from participating units and nations. It is simply wonderful to see you all here gathered as we kick off Cartwheel 22. And what a way to start the day with Fiji winning the World Cup this morning. The name of this exercise finds its origin in Operation Cartwheel, a major military operation for the Allies in the Pacific during World War II. In Operation Cartwheel, forces from the United States, New Zealand, Australia, and Fiji, joined by other Pacific Island nations, fought side by side to neutralize the Japanese base at Rabul, Papua New Guinea. Fiji itself served as a logistics hub for the operation and was a hive of activity in the lead up to the operation. U.S. and New Zealand soldiers were stationed here in Nandi and Suva while the Allies rehearsed amphibious landings on Koro Island on the eastern side of Fiji. Ultimately, Operation Cartwheel and the entire Allied war effort was successful in securing peace and freedom throughout the Pacific. Today, 79 years later, in the same spirit of multilateralism, so central to the success of the Allied campaign during World War II, we gather once again to work shoulder to shoulder as we initiate this land component exercise, which includes over 270 participants from five nations. As a multilateral event, Exercise Cartwheel aims to enhance readiness, build mill-to-mill -mill relationships, and improve interoperability across all participating forces. Such are the important endeavors of free and democratic nations as we seek to maintain international norms and respect for rule of law throughout the vast blue Pacific. Thank you all for being here and for the work it has taken to get to this point. Coordinating logistics, deployments, and in lines of intent across five separate nations is no simple feat, and I congratulate you on your successes. We face challenges in planning, and we will face more before the closing ceremony. However, I have great confidence that our collective determination and perseverance, while remaining positive, will allow us to be successful and achieve our goals. Furthermore, I encourage you all to take this opportunity to forge lasting friendships with your foreign counterparts. A bond was formed between us in war 79 years ago. Let us continue that with genuine care and concern for each other. Learn from each other and maintain our friendships. This will carry us forward into the future as we work together to maintain peace and security throughout the world. Finally, before we wrap up here today, I would like to welcome U.S. Army Attaché to Fiji, Lieutenant Colonel J.P. Smock. J.P. will read the commendation awarded to 3rd Battalion Fiji Infantry Regiment by Major General Griswold, 14th U.S. Army Corps, for meritorious service during World War II. This commendation reminds us of our shared heritage as well as the bravery and excellence of 3FIR and the Republic of Fiji Military Forces. Thanks, Tony. To the officers and men of 3rd Battalion, Fiji Infantry Regiment, 
I give this commendation for meritorious service in combat and in support of combat operations during the period 20 March 1944 to 26 July 1944. Arriving on Bougainville during the height of the desperate Japanese attack on the Allied beachhead, your battalion immediately prepared for combat operations and went on its first combat mission within 10 days of its arrival. Shortly thereafter, you were engaged in the pursuit of Japanese forces in the vicinity of Hills 165, 155, 500, and 501. On 14 April, a company of your battalion carried out a bayonet assault against two platoons of Japanese near Hill 280, killing a number of enemy and securing a flank of the Allied positions. From May 30 to 23 June, your battalion conducted reconnaissance actions, sweeping the, S, sweeping the Empress Augusta Bay shore from the Tukesi River to the Moaraka Point, destroying many enemy fortifications and capturing, capturing six artillery field pieces. The excellent combat spirit, discipline, soldierly bearing, and sportsmanship of every member of the 3rd Battalion has earned for Fijians the highest esteem among the American forces. It is my sincere hope that the fortune of war will again place your battalion under my command. Until that time, I wish the 3rd Battalion, Fiji Infantry Regiment, Godspeed. Signed, G.W. Griswold, Major General, United States Army. Thank you, JP. I don't think much else can be said after those inspirational words. I wish you all the very best, and may God bless us with a safe and successful exercise. Thank you, uh, ladies and gents. Uh, platoon leaders and uh, platoon sergeants are to remain behind so that they can see the timetable of activities that's happening today until uh, the end of the week. The rest of you, please, um, we'll meet you at the shed just outside the gym by 1100, where we will have the traditional welcome ceremony of the cover. Thank you. We'll also celebrate Fiji's win. <laughs> <laughs>